हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज टाउनसेंस क्राइटेरिया फॉर ब्रेक डाउन द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज वी आर टू अंडरस्टैंड द टाउनसेंस क्राइटेरिया फॉर द अकरेंस ऑफ ब्रेक डाउन इन इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल as we have studied in previous lectures that there is a electrical supply given with negative and positive polarity to the electrodes say 1 and 2 which is separated by a distance d the electrode which is connected to the negative of the supply is called cathode and the other one is called as anode in this townsend's criteria for breakdown the insulating gas which is filled between the two electrodes experiences the ionization and that converts the gas insulating material into a gas conducting material and that causes the breakdown of the insulating material now we have to understand the criteria for breakdown we have to understand the criteria for the breakdown of that insulating gas so let us do the derivation from the previous equation first and second ionization coefficient the current is given by now for the occurrence of breakdown i just write it as bd breakdown of gas insulating material the current must be high or we can say that it is infinitely high so from this above equation when denominator 1 minus gamma e to the power alpha d minus 1 is equal to 0 the current i is equal to infinity so when it is infinitely high the chances of occurrence of breakdown is more now considering this equation and forming the criteria we get the another step as is equal to 1 and implies we can write it as gamma into e to the power alpha d is equal to 1 since e to the power alpha d is much much greater than 1 so this is what the criteria for the occurrence of breakdown so when we have gamma e to the power alpha d is equal to 1 the breakdown occurs between the insulating gas but with respect to this criteria or the condition we have following three statements so this anode current the current which is reaching to that anode is nothing but the current of the external circuit whatever the anode current which is passing or which is reaching to that anode or whatever the current reaching to that anode is nothing but the current 
passing through the external circuit. Theoretically, we can say that from the above condition that current becomes infinitely large under the above condition. But this particular current, this particular current can be limited with the help of the resistance of the circuit resistance of the circuit and the voltage drop of an arc and this arc phenomenon we are going to study in the next topic that is called as post breakdown effect so basically nothing but this resistance and voltage drop is nothing but the resistance of the circuit and resistance of an arc and due to this resistance the voltage drop in the arc takes place so that basically reduces or that helps to reduce the value of the current this particular condition can be defined as Townsend's criteria and the post breakdown effect of it is that forms the spark so therefore it is called as Townsend's breakdown criteria it can be defined as for a spacing of d that is a distance of d for a particular pressure and a voltage the values of primary ionization alpha and secondary ionization coefficient gamma satisfies the breakdown criteria and that is called as the spark breakdown voltage and that corresponding distance is called as a sparking distance now this gamma e to the power alpha d equal to 1 has three conditions the conditions are first when this gamma e alpha x or alpha d is equal to 1 at d equal to ds the current i tends to infinity as i said when we have this particular condition that is when the denominator is equal to 0 the value of the current is equal to infinity and this particular current is limited only by the resistance of the power supply or maybe the external circuit second when this gamma e to the power alpha d or alpha x is less than 1 that is when d is less than a sparking distance current i is approximately equal to i0 and this i0 is basically the initial current due to the initial number of electrons we can say this is initial current initial current due to the initial number of electrons emitting from the cathode and if the external source for the supply of I0 is removed that current becomes zero as that there is no supply voltage the initial current is zero and hence the total current is also zero this is what the second condition third condition when this gamma e to the power alpha x or alpha d is greater than one at d is greater than ds that is what d is greater than sparking distance the ionization produced by the successive avalanche is cumulative and the spark discharge grows more rapidly so the discharge occurs between the contacts of the electrodes is more rapidly and therefore we call this is what the criteria for the breakdown so this is first topic which we have understood 
Now, let us cover one more topic in this that is limitation of the Townsend's theory. There are basically three limitations to this Townsend's theory. In first, we generally consider the increase in current or the current growth depends only on the primary and secondary ionization process. But actually, that also depends on the gas pressure and the gap geometry, that is the electrode geometry. The second limitation to Townsend's theory is that breakdown occurs with a time lag of the order of 10 to the power minus 5 seconds. But in actual practice, that takes very less time and it is of 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. Another limitation to that as, according to the Townsend's, the discharge which occurs in between the contacts of the electrodes is a diffused form. But in practice, it is filamentary and irregular. So filamentary means it is like this and irregular means we get one filament, then another filament, third filament and so on. So therefore, the discharge, the spark on or an arc which forms between the electrodes due to the breakdown is either filamentary or irregular. So guys, that's all with these two topics. Hope you understood. Thank you so much.